quarterbacks are down. I mean, you ran your third team running back and your third team quarterback this week. How tough has injuries been to deal with this year? It's been real tough. Um, you just got to prepare all week to adjust. You know, you never know who goes down during the week. So when, you know, Monday all the way up into the game, you got to prepare and, you know, know the game plan and adjust. Now, does that just kind of add to the difficulty of this season because, you know, you've been playing football a long time. How tough has this year been, not just because the, 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 the wins have been tough to come by, but the balls don't bounce your way, the yeah. injuries, adding it all up, how tough has the year been? It's been real tough because, you know, it's, these guys that are being hurt are guys that have been here, you know, for three years, and, you know, they, they know, they experience players, they know how to, you know, bounce back from losses and, you know, things like that. So, I mean, you know, we got a lot of freshmen playing right now, and, you know, they all new to it. So I think it's huge that a lot of guys are injured. How big is this game for you guys? You know, we just talked to Akeem. What would a win mean for this for this program? Everything you guys have dealt with, just to finally feel what it's like. I know you had one a few weeks ago, but what would a win do for the for this team, that, that locker room, things like that, going down the rest of the season? It would definitely boost the confidence because it's a conference game. And, um, you know, that's our first goal is to be – conference champs or, you know, get a chance to play in the conference, you know, game, the championship game. And, you know, I think that's the attainable goal because the rest of our games are conference games. So it'll be a great motivational thing for, for our team and, you know, just, you know, bring that energy we need. You guys have, you know, you, you know, your coach has been on the hot seat all year. Tulane's coach stepped down today, just a couple hours ago. So their head coach won't be there on Saturday. I know you're not in that locker room, but how do you think that's going to affect their mindset into that game when, when their coach steps down just a few days before the game? Uh, that That's pretty tough, you know. Losing a, a coach is always tough, but I think, you know, they'll find something to play for. You know, they, you know, they still got each other. You know, they're still playing for the next guy, you know, because when you go through summer workouts in spring, that's what you're playing for. You're playing for your teammates. Not only your coach, you're playing for your coach too, but – you're also playing for your, the guy next to you. That sounds a lot like you guys right yeah, now. They're yeah. playing for each other too, yeah. right? Yeah. We don't want to let nobody down. You know, we, we work so hard. I mean, things didn't go our way, but we still, you know, we're still playing for each other no matter what. And Tulane defensively, I know that they got some experience in the back four. You know, their front four is mm -hmm. pretty good. W when you look at them on film, how do you, how, what's the attack? Or how do you guys try to get things done against them on Saturday? Um, I mean – Every team, you know, they have their they strengths and their weakness. Of course, their, their front, you know, their defensive line is their strength. But I feel like no matter who we face, we just got to execute our plays the best of our abilities, you know, every week. We just, you know, do what we do better than anybody. So I think that's the key. Scott was kind of thrown into the fire on Saturday. How do you, how do you think he did in, uh, you know, assessing his performance? I think he did great. I mean, it was a, you know, it was kind of a turning event for him, and you know, he took that challenge on all week of being, you know, the starter, and he, you know, he prepared himself every day. He got, he got extra film in. You know, we stayed out to practice and threw extra balls, and you know, we made sure the timing was right. So I think he did a great job. You know, just going in there, recognizing, you know, pits, picking up blitzes and stuff. All that stuff was great to me. I thought he did good. You guys had three different quarterbacks at one point this season. Um, it's it's been tough, but you know, as, like I said, as the week goes on, you know, we get accustomed to it. We um, we 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 stay in extra with those guys, make sure we're on the same page. So you know, by the time the game come around, you know, we feeling real confident. We develop that chemistry. We talked to Coach Porter yesterday about coming to, coming in the second half of games. You know, middle whether it was middle or Rice or this past week, you guys had the lead or it seemed the game was going your way, and then you guys hit that lull. As a guy who's been here, what do you have to do differently? How, how do you change what you do at halftime to come out with maybe a better sense of urgency, knowing that those games are right there for you to take? I feel like we should do a better job of, you know, erasing the first half because no matter what, you still got to play 60 minutes. I mean, we felt pretty good going into the second half, so we we kind of, you know, we kind of took it for granted that we had that lead, and you know we didn't probably come as hard as we should have came. But 
I think, you know, going into these next couple of games, when we go up, you know, erase it, you know, erase the, that first half and come out like it's a new a new game and, and, you know, bring that same intensity we bring in the first half. Can you teach putting the hammer down or is that something that just kind of got to be got to be learned at this level that, you know, whether whatever lead you might have, it might not be enough. You got to continue to put the throttle down. I think, I think, um, Yes and no, and it depends on your leadership. Your leadership really got to come through when, you know, situations like that come. So I think I'll put that on the leader. You, we, we should do a better job of, you know, coming out intense in the second half, you know, bringing that, bringing it. So you put yourself in that category? Yeah, I feel like, you know, I, I, I can do a better job, uh, you know, making sure everybody's coming out, giving it their best no matter what, you know, what quarter, no matter how much we lead by, you know, if we up by three or we down by three, we got to come with the same intensity.